Hi, and thanks for tuning in to my latest market update. All right, let's get down to business. I want to talk about the last three months because that's uh, how long it's been since I've done my last one. There's been quite a bit happening. Uh, the first thing is that there's been a drop off in open home buyers. So the number of people through open homes has reduced. There's also been a drop in the auction clearance rates, which has been widely publicised in the news. Uh, properties are taking a bit longer to sell, and some uh, price reductions are having to occur in order for those properties to sell. So um, what could be causing these things? Well, there's a raft of things. I'll run through them quickly. You're mostly aware of them, I'm sure. You need an IRD number now if you're a buyer. Um, you also There's also a capital gains tax uh, requirement, uh, where if you sell a property within two years, the government want to tax you on that if you weren't living in it as a primary residence. Um, the other thing is uh, uh, there's been a slowing Chinese economy and uh, rumored to be it is rumored to be harder to get your money out of China. The banks appear to be restricting things a little bit more in terms of lending and they are having to also um, uh, put, a, put a lending restriction on investors in Auckland which is making things a bit tougher there. Um, so any of those things could be causing the issue. Um, we do know that in Sydney the market uh, has not been as good either, um, but in Melbourne it seems to be going quite well. So there you go. Um, um, so there's all of those things happening at once. Um, I've, I've wondered just in the last week or two though if things have actually picked up again. Um, and that could be that the Chinese are finding ways to get their money out again um, and that they're adjusting to the new IRD number requirements and things like that. Um, there's been more people through open homes. Um, and some properties that I've had on for a long time have sold. There's a couple of other things happening there. Um, some of those properties I appraised in the winter at this price here, where the, where the prices were uh, quite high in the winter, and then as we came through the spring and more properties were listed, and we had these changes on 1st of October, um, some of those vendors had to adjust their pricing to meet the market, and certainly over the course of that time some of them have, and in the last week they've been able to get deals on their property or in fact sell. Um, also what's happening at exactly the same time as we hit December is we have less property available. The reason being that people don't like to list directly before Christmas and so that's our supply side of the equation. That's the stock if you like. Um, and the way that I gauge that myself and you can do this your own way in any suburb is I just jump on realestate.co.nz, I pull down Auckland, North Shore City and then Greenfield just as a barometer. And uh, for what I noticed in the winter, we were down around 50 to 55 listings across Cleanfield available. Um, and then what would happen, um, what, what did happen through the spring as more listings came on, that number blew out. The highest I saw it at one point, it was 114 available listings. Uh, a, a couple of weeks ago, they had come down to 104. And then I saw it at uh, 84 last week. And this morning I've just checked 77 available listings in Glenfield. That means a little bit more competition for the buyers. If we are seeing more buyers coming into the market, it could be coinciding with less stock available. Good situation again for our vendors. Looking forward to the new year, we've got lower interest rates. The high net migration is still there. And room, the, the word out there is that we're not building enough properties to support that. So things looking like possibly prices ticking up next year. But we'll have to wait and see because as you know, at any particular time, the prices could go up or down, so it's very hard to judge the future in that respect. Um, so has it been shown in the statistics? I've harped on about the stats in the past, and if you look at my September blog that I did in 2014, um, you'll find in there some uh, a bit of a description around how statistics can hide uh, what's been happening in the market. And certainly as we come into spring, we always sell um, a, a mix of more expensive types of property, um, given that in winter we offload investment properties, two bedroom units sometimes, uh, properties that are not owner occupied. Then as we come into spring and we get through labour weekend and daylight saving, those who live in their houses like to prepare them for sale and move before Christmas. Um, often people who have houses uh, with pools and beachfront properties and that type of thing are sold at this time of year as opposed to in the winter. So to, make, to help you understand that, if five properties sell for $500,000 in July and then five properties sell for a million dollars in October, it does not mean that the market's moved up 100%. In fact, what it means is we sold five different properties. Uh, and the statistics can sometimes hide that trend um, that what we've had in the last three months around Greenfield, perhaps somewhere in the order of a 50k drop in value, that's been hidden by those statistics. 
which leads me to wonder if that's why the Reserve Bank and the government chose 1st of October for those changes. If they'd ch chosen something like uh, 1st of May, and then as we came into winter and we sold cheaper property, the media would jump on that and uh, exacerbate the problem. Um, so that would be an interesting question to put to them. How come in 2013, when the first round of LVR changes was also done on the 1st of October? I don't know. So um, that could be part of it. Um, so anecdotally, if you ask around uh, salespeople, everyone's saying, yes, prices have fallen, um, and in different areas by different amounts, and you talk to different people who have different opinions on how much. But what I can say in the last couple of weeks, open home numbers have been good, properties have been selling, uh, perhaps a little bit of a rebound in interest, and maybe buyers are starting to figure out some of those changes. Um, so to know more about your home, or um, to help get me to help with your situation, give me a bell. I'm still available prior to Christmas, and also in the new year. So um, just one other thing before I go, I'd like to let you know that I am looking to um, add a new member to my team, looking for a full-time administrative assistant. I've posted the full job description up on my Facebook page. Uh, I'll be looking to put that um, uh, into more wide circulation in the new year if I can't find anyone beforehand. So uh, let me know if you think you know someone that might uh, want to join my team. So thanks very much for watching. Have a great Christmas and a safe Christmas and enjoy your New Year's. Cheers. Bye-bye.